Hey there, it's Tom Corson Knowles, number one best-selling author of the Kindle Publishing Bible series and founder of TCK Publishing. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use LaunchRock, which is a really cool autoresponder slash email list building tool uh, that's totally free to use, uh, whether you're launching a new business or a new book or you know, you're trying to build your author platform, whatever you're trying to do uh, to build your email list, LaunchRock is a really cool way to do it if you're on a really tight budget, okay? So first thing you do is just go to launchrock.com and you're going to sign up for a new account. Once you do that, um, you're going to select a project type. So on the, the front page, right when you log in, it's going to say, hey, do you want to choose a landing page or do you want to choose an, an embedded widget? So the widget would be on a website you already own. If you don't own a website yet, have no idea how to set up a website or how to create one, don't worry about it. With LaunchRock, you don't need one. You can just click choose a landing page. So when we go ahead and click choose landing page, what's going to happen is you're going to have this entire uh, toolbar of all the things um, that you need to do to create a custom landing page. So the first thing they'll do, they'll say is, hey, look, you need to select a theme. So they've got all these different themes here, and the themes kind of look different. They have different layouts. So you can choose which one you'd like. I just choose the classic theme for this example. So go ahead and click that once you choose your theme. Now, once you've shot, chosen your theme, you can customize everything on the page is customizable with LaunchRock. So basically, there's just a whole bar here on the left, a navigation bar, you can just choose what you want to do. So you can choose a favicon. If you don't even know what that is, um, the favicon is the thing that uh, is going to be on the top of your web browser. It's just a very tiny icon um, that's going to show you uh, what uh, what the website looks like. So for instance, Gmail, if you've seen the Gmail favicon, it looks like a little envelope, you know, a little red and white envelope. Um, if you've seen the fiber favicon, it just has an F and an I on it, you know, like in white letters surrounded by a black box. So favicon is just a little image. Um, probably the most famous one would be the Apple favicon, which is you need the Apple logo is the, the favicon for that. So um, you don't need one at all, but if you want one, it's kind of a cool little tweak you can have to your web page. Next thing down here is your announcement bar. That's this section of text right here at the top. So you can you can turn all these things on or off as well. Um, so if you turn it on, it will appear, and you can type text in there, um, which will look look really cool. The next thing here is the project name, um, and that's this text right here. So uh, whatever you type in here will appear on the on the squeeze page that you're building with LaunchRock. Um, so what I would put there is just like a little call to action. So for this example, just says, hey, look, sign up for the mailing list and get special deals or special updates and deals on new releases. Uh, okay, just a simple call to action about you know what people are going to get when they sign up for your email list and put their email in that box right there. Next, you can have a custom logo. Um, so if you've got a logo, um, you could also put a book there. If you've got a cover for one of your books, you could upload a logo there to make the, the landing page look a little more customized. Um, next here is this little tagline. This is just going to be more text underneath the page there. So whatever you type in here, again, it's going to show up on the squeeze page over here. Now, uh, most of the stuff I'm just going to leave out because I like really simple pages. So what you don't want to do is just clutter up the entire page with tons and tons and tons of text. You don't want to write a novel here. It's just a very short squeeze page. So shorter is better. Less is more when you're building a squeeze page. Uh, you don't need to give tons and tons of information, but you do need a little bit of basic information like what are people going to get when they sign up? What is the whole point of this page? Let people know what they're joining, what they're doing. Okay, and then all the rest of the stuff is pretty much self-explanatory. You can just play around with it. Again, what you type in the left over here is going to appear on your page. And uh, so that's basically how you create the, the, the page in a nutshell. Um, there's more things that you can do. You can change the color, uh, you know, if you want a red or blue or whatever. Um, you know, pick a color. Um, don't pick one that's ugly, like this is a very kind of bright, ugly color. Uh, pick one that's kind of nice in the eyes. Again, uh, you know, different colors have different effects on people, so just kind of do what you think is a good fit. If you really don't know what to do, black, black or gray, you can't really go wrong with. A nice dark blue, um, you can't really go wrong with. Um, so just choose a color that you think is good. Um, Next, you can have a background image. So if there's white space over here, you can actually create an entire image to have on the background uh, of the squeeze page to make it look a little nicer and stand out a little bit. Next, um, there are extra fields. So you could have uh, people's names. Uh, if you need the names of your contacts, if you need their company info, their phone number, their zip code, their date of birth, um, all these things you can add to the form. But I would recommend not using any of these at all when you're just starting out. If you've never built an email list before, 
um, don't use any of that stuff because the more things you add to the page, the lower your conversion rates are going to be and the smaller your email list will be. So when you're starting out, just start with email address. Just get the emails. That's all you need to start building your list and start doing email marketing. When you get more advanced and you're, um, you know, you really understand email marketing much better, then you can kind of add more things and tweak and test different things to see. Uh, but best practice when you're starting out, only only look for the email addresses from people. Uh, you'll get the highest conversion rates that way. Okay, once you've designed the landing page, that's all the options for the landing page, then next you can go to the sharing page. So after someone opts in on Launch Rock, what's next is going to happen is they're going to pop up this little sharing page right here. So they'll have like, like buttons and um, you know people can share and really promote your squeeze page. So if someone signs up for your list and they're all excited about you know your books, they can share it out and click the like button and tweet it. Um, so it's just a way to get even more traffic um, to, to your page. And then here, you can kind of customize it. So um, if people send an email, you can customize the email that they'll, the, the form of the email that they'll be sending um, to, to people when they email out your, your page with the sharing buttons. Um, then you can have Facebook likes, you can turn all this stuff on or off, Twitter shares on or off. Um, it's really cool. There's just so much in here, so I'm not gonna go through every little option, um, but check it out, use it, create your new page. Um, this is a great way to start building your email list. Uh, next is gonna be email confirmation. Um, so this is really important. So once someone actually signs up to your email list, they need a confirmation email. Um, so to make sure you customize this to make sure it really fits you and your brand and your personality. Uh, obviously you probably wouldn't wanna sign up with the team, you'd wanna sign it with your, your name or, or you know your personal name or maybe your business name, whatever you're building your list for. Um, and then next here it says, in order to send emails, you must input your physical address. Now this is to abide by can spam laws. So there's email marketing laws called can spam laws. You have to be can spam compliant with any email marketing that you do. And in order to do that, you absolutely have to have a physical address uh, of yourself or your business um, in all of your emails. So all of your emails that will go out with your address at the bottom of the email, that's just to abide by the law. So um, if you have a business address, I'd recommend putting that. We can use a personal address. Um, okay, so make sure you do that. Uh, they really won't let you send any emails with Launch Rock without doing that because it would be against the laws. Next, if you have your own domain, so if you've gone to GoDaddy or DreamHost and you bought an actual website domain like you know yourname.com or tomforsmills.com, like my domain, um, if you've bought that already, you can set up the, the squeeze page with Launch Rock to actually go and be built on top of that website. So if someone goes to yourname.com, um, you could have your Launch Rock page installed right then and there, super easy. If you don't have a domain yet, you haven't paid for one, you don't want one, you don't even know what one is, again, don't worry about it, you don't have to have one. You can set up a custom subdomain on Launch Rock. And a subdomain is basically just a web page inside the domain on Launch Rock. So again, you probably just put your name here, like I put tomcorsonals.launchrock.com for mine. And, uh, and uh, that's basically all you have to do. Um, to set up your, your page. Um, and then this would be the link, whether you use a subdomain or your own domain, that's the link you can send people to. So when you're promoting your squeeze page and say, hey, do you want to sign up for the list? Go here, just copy and paste that link and that will be what people can click on to get to this page to sign up for your email list. Okay, finally we have advanced settings. So if you want to use Google Analytics to find out how much traffic you're getting and how people are converting your email list, you can use Google Analytics, you can put your ID right here. Um, you can add uh, tags for search engines. Um, so those are the more advanced things you can do, okay? That's basically all you need to do to set up your squeeze page with Launch Rock. So once you've done all that, you're going to, um, well here, uh, what Launch Rock says basically is that, look, you have to fill out everything on the page. So um, if you don't fill out everything on the page, they won't let you create your page. So if you don't want a background image, for example, you just put that off and then it'll complete the progress and say, hey, next you need a site logo. So if you just don't want a site logo, you just turn that off. Next they'll say, hey, you need instructions. Um, if you don't want to give um, instructions for people to sign up for the email list right there, you can go ahead and just turn that off. Uh, once you fill out everything for the launch rock page, and then they will allow you to build that page and then you will use that link here in the domain tab. This link right here is the page you'll send people to to start building your email list, okay? So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you wanna start email marketing, you don't have the money, you don't have a big budget right now to pay 20 bucks a month for Aweber or iContact or to pay 300 bucks a month for Infusionsoft, like a top of the line system, you don't have to, you can do it all.
for free with Launch Rock. It's a really, really cool service. I highly recommend checking it out. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful for you and I'm wishing you an incredible day. Take care.